uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how to build a cricket multiple choice questions game here inside your node.js application so we will be building it on the command line so let me just run this node.js application and show to you what this uh, multiple choice question game is all about so if i just run this file here guys you will now see it will allow me to enter the name what is my name so i am playing this game here so let me write my name here and it will just tell me that you can see that welcome Gotham to the squiz created by so it will it is asking me the first question guys you can see that who won the cricket world cup 2019 there are four options out there India England New Zealand and Australia we perfectly know that the final was played between New Zealand and England and it was won by England in the super war so I will simply select B option here and if I say enter you will now see it will telling me that it is the right answer and your current score is 10 so in this way guys you can see that we are taking the user input we are putting up a question here and it has four options A, B, C, D and you need to tell you the correct answer so this is the correct answer you can see that we have selected the correct answer which is B the second question who is known as Jumbo there are four options Ishan Sharma, Rahul Dravid, Harbhajan Singh and Anil Kumble we perfectly know it is the D option Anil Kumble so you will put D here again this is you can see right answer your current score is 20 here so you can now see the third question who was the player of the series in 2019 World Cup Kane Williamson, Ben Stokes, Rohit Sharma, Shakib Al Hassan so I think it was uh, A option Kane Williamson because he scored the most number of runs and also captain the side in the final so now you can see right answer your current score is 30 so every time that is guys you can see every time I am giving the correct answer 10 score has been added here on my score tally so 10 20 30 so current score is 30 the fourth question is that who was the player of the series in IPL 2020 I don't know this answer so I will randomly pick any sort of answer C you can see it is right answer which is Jofra Archer <laughs> again it's right answer who won the purple cap in IPL 2022 let me say D you can see it is again right answer your current score is 50 excellent your final score is 50 so you can see that guys this is the MCQ online quiz of cricket we will be building it inside our node chess application for building this guys we will be using a special dependency of node.js node which is uh, <laughs> read line synchronize this is a package we will be using to get the user input and also put up the multiple choice questions alongside with the different options so this is a package you can see that 828,000 weekly downloads are there so with the help of this you will be able to make the mcq kind of games inside your command line so <laughs> let's start building this application so right here just go to your command line guys so simply install this by npm i read line synchronize so just install this module i have also given the link in the description of this video guys so basically i have written a complete blog post if you want to read more about it you can go to the description of this blog post to copy paste all the source code step by step instruction is there so now first of all guys we need to import this module at the very top we will simply say here const rs and we will require this module we will simply say here read line synchronize and then we will simply say we will declare a variable which is called score is equal to zero and then we will simply has the username guys we will simply say rx.question and here we will see please enter the name so here we will simply ask the name of the user in the command line so if i run this application you will now see node index.js so we will enter the ask please enter the name so here we will enter the name so we are taking the user input like this so then we will simply say that uh, welcome 
we will print out the variable line put a comma which is username and then to the cricket quiz app like this so welcome whatever you write inside the username to the cricket quiz app so basically this is the thing and after this guys we will have uh, basically we will storing all the questions that we will ask in the game in a this is basically an object you will now see question one uh, it's an object here which contains two properties first it will be the question here you can just randomly pick any questions of your choice and basically again I will say who won the cricket world cup in 2019 so there will be many uh, choices out there so basically what I will do is that guys you can see we have uh, four five questions out there we will simply copy paste it and don't waste time in it so you can see we have defined five questions who won the cricket world cup india england new zealand australia the correct answer we are also storing it in the second property which is answer which is england here so we are storing b here the next question who is known as jumbo ishan sharma raul dravid the answer is d and we are storing d here who has won the player of the series a so a here who is the player of the series in IPL 2022 which is C and who won the purple cap so it is D Kagiso Rabada so now we have defined all these questions guys so basically here we will be declaring a questions array and here we will be <coughs> inserting these objects question 1 question 2 question 3 question 4 question 5 so we are storing all these uh, five objects inside an array so this is an array of objects so now guys basically in order to loop through this array we will simply use a for loop so we here we will simply say i is equal to 0 i questions dot length i plus plus so here you can even use the for each loop as well but we will use the we will make a play method guys <coughs> play method so this will we will pass two options to it first is the actual question we will get to the index number i dot question and also we will pass the answer as well the second property which is available answer like this you can now see you can even use a for each loop as well guys totally depends upon you so questions for each question you will now see we have the we can call the play method like this so play method we can simply pass the question dot question and secondly we are also passing question dot answer so now we just need to define this function guys which is play function so with the help of this we will be playing the quiz so we will be writing this function guys which will is simply a function here you can even make it an arrow function let play and we will be receiving two arguments inside this first is the question and second is the answer this will be arrow function so basically guys inside this first of all what we will do is that we will actually ask this question as a in the command line so what we will simply say we will collect the user input inside user answer variable and this contains again this method which is question and uh, we will pass the question like this so what will happen guys you will now see if I run this application it will first of all ask the name and then welcome to the cricket quiz app welcome Gautam and then it will ask all the five questions like this so now we need to if I enter any sort of choice here let's suppose A I need to get this user input inside user answer and here first of all we will compare it if user answer dot uppercase dot uppercase to uppercase is equal to triple equal to is for conditional and answer to uppercase if, the, if this matches guys then we perfectly know that the user has given the correct answer so in that case we can simply write in the console that you have given the correct answer so we will simply say 
right answer so we will simply in the new line we will simply say right answer and we will increment the score by 10 guys so score score plus 10 like this score per plus 10 and if this, if these answer are not equal they have given the incorrect answer so we will simply console log that wrong answer like this and we will decrement the score value by minus 5 so <coughs> that's it and that's all guys we will also display the current score score of the user at the bottom so your current score we will display it which is score and then we will simply say console dot log and lastly guys we will display the final score of the user when all the questions are completed we will simply say, say your final score is score that's it that's all guys this is all the application which is required now if I run this application once again so it is saying please enter your name so it is asking the question let me answer a give a wrong answer let me select here C option oh, sorry D option so wrong answer you will see my current score is negative 5 let me D right answer 5 who was the player of this let me select B so wrong answer who was the player of series in let me select B negative 5 who won the purple cap D so right answer so you can see that guys your current score is 5 that's all that we need to write inside this function so thank you very much guys in this way you can build out your multiple choice questions online quiz app of cricket inside node chess in the command line with the help of this module which is read line synchronize i hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial if you want to get all the source code you can go to the description of this blog post where i have written all the source code of this awesome little game and please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well if you are watching it for the very first time and uh, So please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well and uh, i am be seeing you in the next tutorial until then thank you very much